the world is full of fa false dichotomy. Uh, capitalism versus communism, science versus religion, nature versus nurture, or Democrat versus Republican in the USA. And this is not surprising as most people are binary thinker. Well, in fact, most people are not thinker at all. They're just like programmable automaton who will mindlessly repeat whatever the person in authority told them. Would it be the people on TV or the teachers they had in elementary school? But for the, for the people who can somewhat think, most of them are binary thinker. For them, pretty much everything is either or. They cannot handle nuances. And that's why they often jump to conclusion. When you express an idea that do not fit with one of the two possible little box, they'll quickly categorize you in the opposite of their black and white worldview. If you say that you believe race is real and more than skin deep, then you hate black people. If you say that you don't like Ayn Rand philosophy, then you are a moral relativist. If you don't believe in man-made climate change, that can only mean that you don't care about the environment. And there's false dichotomy that uh, we see in RPG hobby as well. And one is between the old school gamer who let the dice decide what's happening in the game and those doing story time where the GM guide the players to a pre-planned pre narrative. And if you're not one, you're the other. I am old school GM, please insert module. You find yourself in a forest. The weather is rainy but warm. You come across six orcs. They are pleased to see you. What do you do? So the bad guy runs at you with his axe rays and he comes and strikes with all his fury. And... Oh, that's an at 20, so it's going to be double damage. So... Oh, how much uh, hit point do you have left? 16? Mm. He uh, hit you for 15, so there's blood and it hurts, but you're still alive and you're still like able to strike back and it's your turn. So you attack. Okay, roll for your attack. A 7? Uh, yeah, that's that's enough to hit. Yeah, you, you you can hit him. Roll for damage. Yeah, that's exactly what you needed to kill the, the bad guy. So you win again. So now we can just like fast forward. You're back in the village. And there's a big celebration for you, for your victories. And everybody's glad to see you. You're the heroes of the realm. And the king come. And he say, Oh, adventurer, thank you for saving our village. Please have my daughter in marriage. Yeah, those are uh, straw men. I'm just having a bit of fun. But there's another way. I'm an uh, I'm a RPG third positionist. I believe in emergent narrative that evolves as the game unfolds, not a pre-written story. But the GM can make narrative decision to make the unfolding story more interesting or realistic. I do not believe in fudging dice rolls. But I also don't believe in rolling for everything. The GM can make decisions about what's happening. He controls the world and the NPC. But the players are the one driving the, where the story is going. Because this story is the story of their characters, the characters they control. And we're still playing a game. And the mechanics and the dice roll still have a role to play. But we also want to keep the game going. And we want to have an interesting narrative. So yeah, sometimes you can just end wave stuff and yeah, you can just do it. If it's mundane, if it's something that the character could do or if it's something that just makes sense. Part of the role of the GM is to educate those things. What can and can be done and when a role is or is not needed. I mentioned in the previous video how I like to let the player contribute to the description of the scene. But it doesn't mean that they get to add stuff that is beyond the scope of what is reasonable. I like a game that is uh, deadly. And I like the mod core type of game. But I'm not the biggest fan of Dungeon Crawl. Just going to a dungeon because that's where the adventure is. That's where the loot is. 
then where all the PCs are basically just character class with no personality and no motivation. No, I want a little more than that. I don't want a 30-page backstory, but who are you? Why are you adventuring? What are your aspirations? So there's a there's way, in my opinion, to take the best aspect of both style of play. Even though I might take a little more from the old school style myself, but I don't run games like it was done back in 1974. I also don't do the sparkle troll way, where you can't let a character die or they're going to have a mental breakdown. And I assume that most GMs find their way on that spectrum. But if you're on the one end and you see something doing things slightly differently, don't assume they're automatically on the other end. And that's what I wanted to say. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and take care.